it's your crazy Vanguard Slime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're watching another episode of WandaVision episode 8. Um, and it's called Previously On. And the thumbnail is Wonder and Agnes. Something that we, a uh, thumbnail we haven't seen. And goddamn guys, I am so excited. I've been waiting for this all week. And me and Mitch and Alex spoke about this on Wednesday. And just non-stop, I've been talking with different people about different, like, theories and possibilities that can happen on the show. And I'm just so excited to watch this episode. Um, as you guys can see, if I look a little closer, I did do my makeup inspired by Agnes. So a little bit reddish purple lipstick, purple in the eyes as well. Uh, just because, like, <laughs> oh, my, uh, me and Alex were right. And it just feels so good to be right. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we were also saying, though, and I'm clinging to the hope that the Mephisto is in this, that there has to be somebody else who's involved with this whole plan. So we were thinking that, obviously, either it's Mephisto or it's Nightmare or if it, it's like a rendition of both of them melded together. Because we have seen in the Marvel Universe previously that things have changed. For example, like, what was it? Um, we spoke about it on the Aftermath. A uh, quick plug, Aftermath is a podcast format where me and the Basden brothers, Alex and Mitch, talk about everything to do with our favourite TV shows that we are currently reacting and watching at the same time. This being one of them, obviously WandaVision, and it's where we talk about the pros and cons of the show and also the theories that we have. And Alex was talking about, um, I think it was how in the comics Nebula is the one to snap, um, obviously the Infinity Stones and then she fixes everything. And then there was another one. There was another thing he said that they changed in the movies. I can't remember what, but, um, so we were saying, like, either it's going to be Nightmare, Mephisto, or it might be a rendition of both of them together under the name of Mephisto. I really want it to be Mephisto. Um, and the theory we also came up with was that Agnes and him are working together. Agnes made a deal with Mephisto and said, yes, I'll help you. I will do all this shit with Wanda. I won't say anything just in case people haven't, well, people will have watched the episode if they're going to watch my reaction, but... The thing was that Agatha in the comics told Wanda and da la 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 We're probably going to see it, so I'm not going to say too much, but oh, I'm so excited. So let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games, and movies. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <gasps> oh, we're getting freaking backstory. I thought we would, but not like this. Damn. You practice the darkest of magic. I know nothing of these crimes! I, I swear it! Enough! Deception! Such a good actress. I did not break your rules. They simply bent to my power. <laughs> oh! She's absorbing it? Yeah, she's absorbing it. I thought that was Agatha because in the comics she looks old as heck. So I was like, oh, that's her. But maybe transferred the body into somebody else. Never mind. Damn, she is so badass. I'm in love. Wanda! That's your cue, lady. You're on. Oh. Now we can begin. Wanda, do you peek? Yeah, inspired by all the, yeah. All the sitcoms she's watched in the past with her family. Someone else said that in a theory ages ago. Oh. oh shit! How did I not recognize the setup? It looks like it's actually out of that show. Oh my Jesus Lord, I'm the worst. <gasps> Jesus. Beautifully filmed. That was really well done. It's scary it was a was. Oh no, her parents. It's nice to actually put it like a, a face to it though, because we never got to see anything like that. Hydra! Does that mean we'll see Aaron? Please, please, let's see Aaron, that boy. Shit. <laughs> she looks almost like she did ages ago in the first scene we saw of her in Winter Soldier. That's crazy. Get to did a good job.
<laughs> Very happy fan right here. I'm the best fan of Scarlet Witch. Jesus Christ. I have a theory. <laughs> I need more. Have a theory. Every 5,000, 5 million people who have watched the show. When I try to stand up, it just comes for me again. And I can't. It's just gonna drown me. Oh. <laughs> How do you know? Such a heavy feeling. Oh, that's a beautiful quote. He deserves a funeral, at least. I deserve it. Funerals are for the living more yes, than sir. the dead. Through the doors, down the hall, two lefts and a right. Shit, did Haywood let- Wait. One moment, I have to buzz you in. I got it, thanks. Wait, did Haywood let her in? Was it on purpose to power vision? Oh, Haywood. He did it on purpose to bring him back, but why? Oh my god. Okay. Who is Haywood? I cannot allow you to take three billion dollars worth of vibranium just to put it in the ground. Shut up. I can't feel you. Oh. Bless. What? Huh? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? I'm so freaking confused. What the heck? To grow old in V. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit. Oh my god! <gasps> so it wasn't even Vision's body? Oh, this looks so cool. <gasps> oh, wonder. Oh shit! Oh oh <laughs> oh no! She yeah, she wants the kids. <laughs> She's so cool. Chaos magic. She's Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Wait, do we have a a, a, see, a cut? Uh, an, oh, we have an end scene. End scene, end scene, end scene, end scene, end scene. I see it, I see it, I see it. Because I didn't check that until after. When I was in the editing room. Did they? No. They brought back Vision? The real Vision. Or is it going to be like... Oh, oh my god, is it an evil vision? Shit. Or is it an actual, actual vision? No, that seems too evil. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Holy, holy crap. Anything else? No. Shit, guys, that episode was so freaking good. I love how we got, like, it, because everyone knew that this was probably going to be a flashback episode. This episode was on point on such a high level. Dude, my favorite moment from this entire episode was in Wanda's, like, Iris, and then you see her, and it's a glimpse of her future. No, it's the Scarlet Witch at the horn. She's gonna get that. She has to get that costume next episode. Oh my Jesus Lord. Okay. 
I'm very excited to see, like, what else is gonna happen. Oh, again, like, I still think that Agnes isn't the mastermind of all of this. Like, yes, she wants magic. Like, it's obvious now. Like, she's obsessed with magic. She wants to know everything. So she has it at the, like, at her fingertips to use. And that's why with Wanda, she's probably like, oh my god, like, the magic and also the kids. And I'm not sure if she's interested in the kids, but obviously she's using it as sort of, like, not a bargaining chip, but threatening Wanda. Maybe she wants Wanda to let loose and let that chaos magic out. Oh my god, what an episode! Honestly, we say it, me and the boys say it every week, but this is my favourite episode. This was so good on so many levels, not only getting the throwback, but just the acting was on point. And just, I was so surprised. So, <sighs> Haywood, oh, I don't know, there has to be something with Haywood. Haywood is up to something bad. Obviously, this new vision that we saw at the end credits is bad, and... I'm guessing we're going to see him next episode. Uh, is there a bad vision in the comics? Hold on. I want to check now because now I'm curious. Anti-vision. Yeah. That's Earth 932, the comic. Ah, okay. There was an evil one too. Okay, that's interesting. But um, just because I was curious, I was like, has it ever been done? I can't remember. So that's why. Damn. That's gonna be interesting to see as for like the next episode if Vision, the good, like not the good Vision, but Wanda's Vision versus the evil Vision, anti-Vision. That's gonna be very, very interesting. Um, but again, going back, because I keep going off topic, but like I feel like Agnes, well, Agatha, Agatha isn't the main villain. It has to be somebody else. And I just have a strong feeling like it's either Nightmare or Mephisto, but at the same time, I'm not sure. What's the actress's name who plays Agnes? She is amazing. She was so good, especially at the beginning when she was like, oh my god, no, I didn't know what I was doing, blah, blah, blah. And then she just was like, yeah, I knew what I was doing, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my god, so good. I hope she gets an Emmy nomination for like... Oh, I don't know what nomination is. So supporting actress? She was more like... She was... Elizabeth was amazing in this episode as well. So, so good. And also just the scene where she just expels all that power, especially when she just goes... Mm. <laughs> so good. My favourite, favourite scene as well. Apart from the one where we saw her, like, in the iris. That was sick. And... Oh, so, so good. But yeah, I'm super, 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 like what the heck is going to happen next episode. Like, I know, and I'm, it's starting to feel like that. Like, Wanda's going to be pushed over to the edge where she's going to turn into the villain. And I'm super, super, super excited about that because I've always wanted to see her as the villain. Um, especially because, like, Scarlet Witch, she's one of my favourite superheroes. I've always loved her in the animations and especially in Wolverine and the X-Men. That's my favourite animation and I grew up with that. And Scarlet Witch was my favourite. She was like, oh... She's so beautiful and she's so cool and her powers are just so unique. Um, and obviously, daughter of Magneto and stuff. In that animation, it was so cool as well, her interaction with Magneto. Um, but, oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait for the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on episode 8 of WandaVision. Now, we are getting the last episode of this show next week. What a joy it has been. Um, I won't say any more because otherwise that'll make you sad because obviously it's going to be the last time I think that we'll see Paul Bettany. Maybe we might get like a few scenes of him maybe in Doctor Strange or something. But oh my god, I'm going to miss Paul. Paul's been such like, he's been from, from the very beginning since Iron Man. Like obviously doing v voiceover, sorry I was going to see VC, voiceover and then doing like, you know, actual Vision Age of Ultron onwards. Oh, it's been such a joy to see him. I know a lot of people didn't like Vision like... Or, like, weren't, like, you know, big fans of him. But I've always been a massive fan of, like, the Vision. And especially because he's connected to the Scarlet Witch. But also just because he's such a cool superhero. Um, so that's why it's making me sad. Because Paul's been literally 10 years of Marvel. And now 11. So, uh, it's going to be really interesting how they're going to send him off. Because I think we're going to see him die again. And that might be the tipping point for him. Oh, not for him, sorry. <laughs> for Wanda. Um, but yeah, that's going to be some stuff that we can talk about in the aftermath tomorrow um, during our <laughs> weekly meetings. Um, but goddamn, I'm sad though because now it's like, <sighs> we're going to have to wait and we don't have too long for Falcon and the Winter Soldier either. So yeah, give us a bit of a breather after next week. But uh, goddamn.
No, oh, now I'm, now I'm, oh God. Okay, let's, let's end this because I'm just going to keep wondering. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!